Hi everybody, uh, John Langan here, and I'm coming to talk to you for just a couple of minutes about my dear friend, Laird Barron. Uh, Patrick and Brennan have graciously agreed, uh, actually to have invited me really, uh, onto their, their podcast just for a minute so I can talk to you about Laird. I know a lot of you are concerned about him and want to know what's going on and, and what you can do. Uh, Laird's been very sick, as, as some of you know, for the last three months, and it finally got to the point that he went to the emergency room the other night. I went with him along with his, his partner, Jessica. He was admitted. Um, he's in a hospital room right now, getting excellent care, and he, he is very sick. He has There are a lot of different things going on with him. Um, Laird's a very private guy, and so I don't feel at liberty to discuss all of them. Um, I can tell you that he's getting the, the, the conditions he's afflicted with are treatable, and he's getting treatment for them, and he's improving. But there are some things that immediately need to be taken care of, and then there are some things that are going to require longer-term treatment. This is, uh, it's a big deal. And thank God that he went to the emergency room and didn't let it go any, any longer. The big wrinkle in all of this is that Laird doesn't have health insurance and supports himself purely through his writing. If you know the American health system, you know that not having insurance is really bad. Um, and it's one thing not to have insurance and to get somewhat sick when you're 20. Uh, it's another thing when you're no longer 20. Uh, none of us are as young as we, as we used to be. So we're working um, to do a number of things. One is to help to defray the medical costs that, that Laird has already incurred. Also to have an eye towards the medical costs that he's going to incur. Ultimately, we would like to get him set up with some kind of health insurance. Um, it would be great if moving ahead, he was covered. Uh, and the, so the costs for the, the future treatments that he needs will be provided for. Um, a number of you have contacted me and have said, what can I do? I'd love to, I'd love to contribute money. What can I, so Mike Davis um, and myself set up uh, a GoFundMe uh, for Laird. I say myself, but really Mike did all the work uh, and, uh, and he deserves full credit for that. Uh, the response right now at uh, 10.02 uh, in the evening, my time, Eastern Standard Time has been astonishing. Uh, people have been amazingly generous and people have given there, there has been no donation too small. People have given $5. People have given a lot more than $5. But you know what? It, every little penny counts because it's going towards helping out Laird and, and helping him in this situation. And not just the money, but the expressions of support that people have, have put out there for Laird, the expressions of gratitude for his work, they're really heartwarming. He's still a little out of it at times, so it's difficult to, to read everything to him. Um, so I've just been, you know, when I go to visit him, I've been passing along, hey, this person says that, the, you know, um, and, uh, and, you know, obviously he's, he's quite moved by that. So, you know, I guess what I would say is, is thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for, for your tremendous generosity uh, when it comes to the Kickstarter. Uh, if you find it within your means and your inclination to, to continue to contribute to it, that's terrific. At the very least, if you could continue, if you could spread the word, continue to share news of the of the Kickstarter, that would be terrific. Um, we're going to get through Laird. Uh, we're, gonna, we're going to get Laird through this. Uh, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some persistence. It's going to take some grit. Um, but Laird has persistence. It's great. He is the stubbornest person I know, which is part of the reason that we're here. But we're going to use that. We're going to turn that around and use that for good. And we're going to get him better and he's going to continue he has some really exciting projects like sort of in process for the next year and um those are going to come out and there's going to be more he's going to do more stuff as as well so um thanks so much love gratitude thanks to to everybody um and i'll uh, you know i'll continue to update on twitter as uh, as i know things and social media you know in general as, as i learn things but uh Thanks again for, for all your help and for all your good wishes and support for Laird and uh, uh, hang in there. And, and thanks to Patrick and even Brennan for uh, lending their, their support to this and, and letting me come on here.